and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. Long time no post, I know, and I apologize for the inactivity. I hope to be better about that and maybe post on a more routine schedule if possible. Today I am back with more Wings of Fire content. Today I got onto Wings of Fire Roblox and gathered up a few random people and I drew their OCs. I hope you enjoy the video. The first OC I drew today was an Icewing named Hale, who is described as quiet, attentive, and annoyed. Additionally, a character description was added to show that he was larger and strong. I wanted to encapsulate that some by including a stronger jawline and a, an annoyed or frustrated expression to the best of my ability. It's really tricky with the morphs in game to show a whole lot of personality or to add details, so I do take a couple of creative liberties from time to time, adding smaller details like freckles or whatnot, as you will see later in the video. The spikes in this drawing were a little bit of a challenge for me, as I wanted to convey the sporadic different colors as in the morph that the user made, but at the same time, I didn't want it to be too lacking of any sort of pattern. I ended up making the eyes similar to the ice wings in the books without making them completely black because I wanted to show that blue. There were some minor hue adjustments because I made the mistake of taking the screenshot at night and that is a similar theme throughout the video. As a final touch I added a little huff of frost breath to encapsulate how he is a bit frustrated. This is the final product. I feel like it turned out decently. I struggle with ice wings some as I don't draw them as often as I should, but all in all, I like how it turned out. The second OC I drew was this beautiful brown leaf wing named Sakara, who is described as an overthinking weirdo who is quite the scatterbrain. I love the design of this OC, so this is one of the people I actually approached to ask them if I could draw their OC. I now that the leaf wings have been added, I rarely see that people using like this shade of brown almost has like a slight rosy feel too without using the pink with the lighter shades and I just love that so I had to draw her. Based on the personality, I really wanted to try to put that facial expression in there but I didn't want to overdo it to the point where she seemed like she was overly anxious. So her facial expression I tweaked a couple of times I had trouble with and Thankfully, when I took the screenshot, it was a bit closer to daytime, so I had some of the more accurate colors. But there was really nothing else I added to this um, design that wasn't already on the morph, because she, the character already had some stripes as details, and the colors were completed enough to where I didn't really feel like I needed to add anything. I had a lot of fun with this one. This probably is my favorite one that I did. Here's the final product here. Again, I really like how this one turned out. Probably one of my favorites. The only thing I had difficulty with was the morph did not have an eye color. So I feel like making that light yellow, you can't really see it that well. But other than that, I hope if the user is watching this, they like it. The second leaf wing I drew was named Magnolia, and she was described as shy yet fierce. This is definitely the one that I struggled the most with. But I had fun at the same time because it was a challenge. As you can see here in a moment, I end up scrapping this entire expression and pose for a more interesting angle to better convey her personality. Working with the greens and the pinks was tricky since those are two colors that I never put together. But I feel as though in the end I did decently making it work. Reading the bio and just chatting with this person, the pinks were a big part of this character because she is potentially a hybrid, so I wanted to add a little bit more detail in the pinks by adding different shades, and I feel like that really helped me matching it with the green. I did have fun with this one, even if it gave me the most stress, especially with blending these browns. But if the person is watching this, I hope they like how their character turned out. Really interesting character. Lost nobility or royalty, which is always interesting. This is the final piece. And just a note, all of the final pieces will be displayed in a better way at the end so that the viewers who these belong to will be able to get a better look at their character. The next character I drew was a sea wing named Beta. 
and this person was actually doing the same thing that I was. They were going around and drawing random people on the same server as me, and so I figured it would be a fun opportunity for me to draw them as well. They ended up drawing the Leafwing Magnolia as well, so I feel like it would be cool if I could somehow find them and see what their result turned out to be. Now, their character bio didn't have anything in it, so I wasn't really sure what to go off of, so I just defaulted to a very joyful expression, and hopefully that works fine. I don't know anything about this character, but I loved the greens on their design, and it was a little tricky to make it all fit together for me, since I'm used to drawing characters in this game with fades and everything, but I feel like it was a nice change of pace. The thing I struggled with the most, though, was probably the blue on the gills, because I wasn't sure how I wanted to incorporate that in. Since the gills were just that one solid blue though, I ended up just getting like a watercolor type brush and laying it in there. As you can see, I struggled a ton with it, but I feel like it turned out decently in the end. This here is the final piece, and if this person is watching, I hope they like how theirs turned out. The final character I drew was this sea wing named Mackerel, who is described as polite and timid. Now this person wasn't exactly random, I've interacted with them before, really cool person and amazing art, and I had made a small post in a server I'm in advertising that I was drawing if anyone wanted their Wings of Fire Roblox character to be drawn, and they wanted to join, and they came to me with this beautiful ceiling. I absolutely love when I see these morphs with like the yellow added into it. I feel like a lot of people kind of stay away from it. But when it's done, it's almost always amazing. I had a lot of fun with this one. This is probably my second favorite to do because I just loved working with the colors and everything. And again, with the gills, I struggled a lot, even more so this time because there was a gradient on them. And so I wasn't entirely sure what to do. And as you can see, I tried with the watercolor and eventually I just resulted to trying to make it seem like a pattern. And I tweaked it a bunch, but in the end I think it turned out better once I widened them and made it look more similar to the way that the gills are laid out on the morph. Still kind of iffy, so I added in these freckles as you can see to maybe add a little bit of a better flow. Ultimately I think it worked out well and turned out decently. The person seemed to like it a lot, and I hope you do too. So, that was this episode of drawing random people on Wings of Fire Roblox. I hope you enjoyed. I know I sure did. I had a lot of fun drawing these really cool characters, and it really expanded my comfort zone some in regards to combining different colors. These are the final pieces, and if the owners of these OCs are watching, I hope you like how yours turned out. Comment down below if you want to see more of this type of video, both in regards to more parts to this, as I would be more than willing to turn this into a series, and what other videos you would like to see. That's all for now. Until next time, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you soon.